Well, the Ezra Miller scandals continue to get more bizarre and worse uh, over time, so I suppose it's time to finally start talking about it. Ezra Miller is a Hollywood celebrity um, and apparently a groomer. We're going to talk about this person's insane behavior, um, their non-binary privilege, and the sort of like woke cult that surrounds them. Ezra's fans are a bit crazy. So we're, we'll go ahead and get into that um, quickly, though. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. It helps in the algorithms and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed it. So <laughs> I just want to remind people that Ezra was um, the star of The Flash. And it's just sort of interesting with all of the scandals surrounding Ezra Miller, how slow they are to fire him. Um, just look at Johnny Depp, for example. The allegations against Johnny Depp was all it took to blacklist him and basically ruin his career. And they did that very quickly. Disney um, and basically all of Hollywood. And he had been part of Hollywood for 30 years. I am not a fan of Hollywood. If you uh, are familiar with me, you will know that I think that that entire industry is about predation um, and grooming. <clears throat> And so uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about this story here. I know that this is from a the Daily Beast, which is not the best publication. Obviously, they've lied about uh, myself and many others, and uh, they do a lot of like very obviously liberal bias stuff. But this article was, you know, not bad. It was pretty interesting. Um, and it, it seems to be decent journalism-wise. 12-year-old granted order of protection against Ezra Miller. Now, 12 years old seems to be the age that Ezra Miller likes to get children at to indoctrinate them. And, uh, well, you'll just, you'll see as we go through this. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's Ezra Miller. On Wednesday, a mother and her 12-year-old child traveled to their local courthouse in Greenfield, Massachusetts, and they were granted a temporary harassment prevention order against Ezra Miller after alleging that the actor menaced their family one evening in their downstairs neighbor's home and acted inappropriately toward the non-binary youngster. And so this is something that, of course, we're going to have to talk about. The fact that this seems to be associated with grooming and other disturbing things, shall we say. But I also kind of want to make the comment here that, you know, in order to get like a temporary prevention, harassment prevention order, there had to have been some pretty good evidence that this person was a menace, you know, and needed to be prevented from being able to to have access to this child. This comes on the heels of a number of other disturbing allegations that have surfaced against the 29-year-old best known for their turn as the Flash in Justice League. Miller is also non-binary. Yeah, good lord. Last week, the parents of 18-year-old environmental activist Dakota Iron Eyes requested that a court issue a protective order against Miller, stating in court documents that the actor met Dakota six years ago when it was uh, when they were 12 and Miller was 23, and that, quote, Ezra uses violence, intimidation, threat of violence, fear, paranoia, delusions, and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent Dakota. So that's very disturbing. Again, met this person when they were 12, another 12-year-old. 12 so that, guys, is what we call a pattern. 
Ezra clearly has a thing for 12 year old children. And the reason I think for that is because 12 year old children are very young. They're ad uh, in their adolescence and they're easy to manipulate. Their brains are not fully developed. So you could take a 12 year old and if you were sadistic enough, you could emotionally, psychologically, and physically abuse them and mold them into whatever you want them to be. The parents also accused Miller of influencing Dakota's decision to come out as a non-binary transgender. This is what grooming is. Uh, non-binary people and trans people they can trans people cannot reproduce first of all so the way that they reproduce themselves is by grooming children to create more trans people uh it's horrific you should watch the um a prior video on my channel called i hate the antichrist because we go over a thread from somebody who transitioned and um regretted it, had a post-op regret regrets, and it was just horrific, the things that they described of what happened to them physically and um, spiritually. So uh, the transgender thing is just, I mean, it breaks my heart, okay? Because children cannot make that decision and they will regret it later. They're getting this person at a young age when their brain isn't fully developed manipulating that person and trying to get them to make a decision that is going to affect their lives forever and it's quite frankly evil an unverified instagram account presumed to belong to dakota denied the claims the court has been unable to locate miller to serve the papers and miller deleted their instagram wednesday afternoon but not before posting a series of memes mocking the authorities for their inability to find them. Is it that they can't find them or is it that they are re reluctant to go after this person because of their privilege and status as a non-binary person? Um, I'm sorry, but these people are not marginalized. They're not oppressed. They are a special protected class and everybody knows it. Creator Mia Solange took to TikTok in April to accuse Miller of being a hashtag abuser. While the actor was arrested twice in Hawaii for disorderly conduct, harassment, and allegedly throwing a chair at a woman. On top of all that, in 2020, a video went viral of Miller attacking a young female fan in Iceland, though local authorities declined to investigate the incident. So this uh, was even caught on video, but the authorities did nothing. Why do you think that is? Because no one wants to be called a bigot or whatever and slammed with, you know, oh, it was a hate crime to investigate this person or whatever. This is the level of uh, insanity that we are at now where these people feel that they are untouchable because they're part of one of these protected classes and they use things like hate crimes as a cudgel to go after anybody that tries to speak out about them. In the Massachusetts case, the Daily Beast reviewed a copy of the protection order signed by a judge and spoke with the 12-year-old accuser, their mother, and another neighbor who was present. The case docket has not been posted on the court's online system, so the official complaint made by the child's mother was not available. The Daily Beast also reviewed contemporaneous text messages sent by the mother and the neighbor, as well as photographs that cooperated parts of their accounts of the night in question. We are withholding their names for privacy reasons. On the evening of February 2nd, the trio contend that Miller was present at the downstairs neighbor's home in Greenfield, which is located about 40 miles from the actor's ranch in Stamford, Vermont. That neighbor is in a band with Whitney Sutters, a musician who has close friends with Miller. Miller was wearing a bulletproof vest okay and i had no idea until later they were armed recalls the visiting neighbor now ezra miller is somebody that strikes me as very mentally unstable and the kind of person who should not 
be allowed access to a firearm. Now, I'm not one of these red flag pushing people. I think people should have the ability and the right to defend themselves. Uh, however, this person is clearly unwell, and I am concerned that somebody is going to end up literally dead because of Ezra Miller. Tensions began brewing when the mother says she mentioned doing some traveling recently with her tribe of people, leading Miller to snap at her and accuse her of cultural appropriation, the woke insanity and the emotional instability of not being able to handle somebody making a very uh, innocuous comment like that. Then a conversation about board games allegedly went sideways after Miller claimed that the board game Parcheesi had Rastafarian roots. The visiting neighbor, who is half black, questioned Miller as to which sect of the Rastafari movement it originated from. At this point, Ezra explodes and started screaming directly into my face. The visiting neighbor tells me, they said, you don't even know what the F you're talking about. What did you say to me? What did you just say to me? I was very caught off guard. The visiting neighbor continues. Then they opened up their jacket and they had this like big Sherpa jacket and they opened up one side of the jacket. You could see a gun and they said, talking like that could get you into a really serious situation. This is what I mean by somebody who is clearly mentally unstable, out of control, and should not have access to firearms. Next, according to the visiting neighbor, the mother and the child, Miller focused their attention on the then 11-year-old saying, I've talked extensively with your child and they have a lot of power to them. At one point, you're going to realize that you don't have any control over them anymore. They're an elevated being and they would be lucky to have someone like me guide them. No, what he really means is groom them. They say Miller proceeded to turn to the mother, who dresses goth and accused her of being a witch and a vampire, repeatedly yelling at her, do you want to drink my blood? Do you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Miller then came back to the child and allegedly began pestering them with compliments. No, that's called love bombing and it's something groomers and abusers know how to do very well at one point moving their chair closer to them and requesting that they add the actor on instagram and telling the child to pursue fashion this is when they hit you with compliments and they try to build you up and make you feel special so they can groom you they automatically were just weirdly drawn to me and kept talking about how they love my outfit and love my style and kept going on and on about how great it was the child remembers it was really uncomfortable. I was really nervous. I was scared to be around them after he'd yelled at my mother and she was crying. The mother and visiting neighbor both believe Miller may have been under the influence due to their dilated pupils and erratic behavior. Uh, no, the erratic behavior seems to be a constant for Ezra Miller. Maybe they're constantly under the influence. Miller apologized for the outburst, only to return to pester the family on a number of other occasions, including in late April and May and on June 4, dressed as a cowboy. In April, both the mother and child maintain Miller made the child uncomfortable by hugging them and pressing their body closely against them. Yeah, being sexually inappropriate. During the June visit, the child expressed their interest in horses, and Miller said they would acquire several horses so the child could help care for them uh, for the herd on their Vermont, Vermont farm, which also struck them as inappropriate. It's incredibly inappropriate. Ever since the Dakota Iron Eyes news broke, however, they hadn't seen or heard from them since. A representative for Miller could not immediately be reached for comment. Yeah... This is an insane individual that is totally out of control. Um, so we have another article here. Will Warner Brothers reshoot all of The Flash to avoid including the actor? I doubt it, unfortunately. You know, Warner Brothers is in a tough spot as a star of one of its upcoming tentpole films. Ezra Miller has been in legal trouble for months now and now faces allegations of grooming. Yes, Ezra Miller, best known for playing 
Credence and the Fantastic Beasts movies and The Flash and DC's Justice League has been embroiled in multiple scandals this year, but most recently the actor has been accused of grooming and abusing a teenager. On June 8, TMZ reported the parents of 18-year-old Dakota Iron Eyes were seeking an order of protection against Miller, who uses they, them pronouns as if that matters, claiming the actor is a threat to their daughter's well-being. According to Iron Eye's parents, she met Miller when she was uh, in 2016 when she was 12 and the actor 23 when they, that actor came to Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. How inappropriate is that? A 23-year-old trying to befriend a 12-year-old. The two subsequently developed a friendship and Miller allegedly invited a 14-year-old Iron Eyes to fly to London where their movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, was filmed. Iron Eye's parents claim Miller gave her alcohol, marijuana, and LSD when she was underage, and they allege Miller's negative influence over her led her to drop out of school. The parents also claim that when they went to Miller's house in Vermont in January 2022, they found their daughter didn't have her driver's license, keys, or bank card, and there were allegedly bruises on her body. This is what an abuser does when they're grooming somebody they isolate them from family and friends and they make them totally dependent on them so taking things like keys license bank card so that person has to rely on them 100 percent for everything ezra uses violence intimidation threat of violence fear paranoia delusions and drugs to hold sway over a young adolescent dakota the parents claimed in legal documents tmz reported they accused miller of cult-like and psychologically manipulative controlling and sexual predatory behavior all things i've just said including allegedly trying to sleep in the same bed as Iron Eyes when she was 14. It's an R. Kelly-type situation, and it's very scary. Iron Eyes' mother, Sarah Jumping Eagle, told the New York Post. A judge has approved an interim protective order barring Miller from contacting Iron Eyes for 30 days, but the court cannot locate or serve the actor, according to the LA Times. Her father, Chase Iron Eyes, told the Times he has no idea where she and Miller are, but a court hearing was scheduled for July 12. Iron Eyes, a Native American activist who's worked with Greta Thunberg, said in a statement on Instagram, Miller has only provided her, quote, loving support and valuable protection, unquote, and accused her parents of transphobia and seeking to place her under a conservatorship. But Iron Eyes' mother alleged Miller has control of Dakota's Instagram, probably. Iron Eyes then released a video denying claims Miller wrote her previous statement. No one is controlling my Instagram account. She said, this is my life. These are my decisions. Yeah, okay. This scandal was just the latest for Miller and the first major incident dating back, uh, dates back to 2020 when video emerged that appeared to show the actor choking a woman at a bar in Iceland. Almost two years later, Miller left fans concerned in January 2022 after posting a bizarre video in which they threatened violence against the North Carolina chapter of the Ku Klux Klan for no explained reason because they're mentally ill. In March 2022, Miller was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct and harassment over an incident in a bar. Miller allegedly began yelling obscenities, grabbed a microphone from a woman who was singing, and lunged at a man playing darts. The actor was just fined $500 and pled no contest. According to the AP, Miller was the source of police calls in Hawaii at least 10 times in the month of March alone. That same month, a judge granted a couple's request for a temporary restraining order against Miller after the actor allegedly burst into their bedroom in Hawaii, threatened them, and stole their passport and wallet. The restraining order was later dropped because of their non-binary privilege. Miller was then arrested in Hawaii again, April 19th, for second-degree assault. This time, police said Miller became irate after being asked to leave a private residence and allegedly threw a chair, striking a 26-year-old female on the forehead, resulting in an approximate half-inch cut. And that's the thing about Ezra Miller. Um, he seems to like to target and hurt women. He choked a woman at a bar in Iceland. He threw a chair at a 26-year-old hitting them in the head. Um, this person preys on young women and clearly likes to abuse them. 
In recent weeks, Warner Brothers has faced growing calls to fire Miller, but the problem is the actor is the lead of the upcoming movie, The Flash, a movie that already completed filming last year. It doesn't matter. Look what happened, what they did with Johnny Depp. They were quick to drop him from Pirates of the Caribbean 6, all because of allegations from Amber Heard, who was incredibly unreliable. Uh, it's just kind of stunning how certain people will get canceled immediately, but other people with special privileges, oh no, they don't. So I will include the links to all of this stuff um, in the video description. We're not going to go through um, any more of this. This video is already long enough, but I want to include links to a lot of different sources here uh, just so everybody can kind of read up on this and, you know, I guess learn more about this absolute freak. You know, this individual is 100% out of control they need to be stopped before they end up seriously hurting themselves or somebody else. And you know what? It's the grooming thing is very clearly a pattern with this person. It's not okay to groom children and be a sexual predator. And it needs to be called out and it needs to stop immediately.